the new Wildfire 9000 four post lift. I'm going to try to do as much as I can by myself because I don't have anybody helping me right now. Alright, so since I'm by myself, I'm just doing one piece at a time. Just throwing it on the dolly, rolling them over here, getting them in position. Like I said, I'm going to try to do as much as I can until I can't do no more. Alright guys, this is how I got it set up so far. In case you don't notice, uh, this cap goes right here. You can take that cap out and they recommend putting it about two foot or so. So it's easier for this to slide on. I got everything unloaded and on top here now. Got the old hydraulic pump right there. It was packed very nice. It's crazy how compact they can make this. There's my ramps. There's my uh, casters. So I'm down to the instructions now. This is all my hardware. Now I gotta sit down and do a little bit of reading. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna look at pictures. Wish me luck. Oh, and I'm also down to where I'm gonna have to have somebody help me now. But one person can do all this by themselves, so. I gotta, I gotta see if I can get me a volunteer to come help me. Alright, I'll let you know how it goes. Alright, so you also want to take your nylon bushing sleeve, prop it in here. That way your lock mechanism will clear so that thing will slide right on the post, no problem. We got four of them propped open, as you can see. So when I get some help, I'll have one guy here, we get it on that post and the other guy over there and we go together and then we're going to slide it all the way down and I think they recommend six up. So one, two, three, four, five, six and this is where it needs to latch. Alright, got my old cherry picker. You see it's been sitting outside for a while. She's still lifting, so I couldn't, I couldn't get my cherry picker up close enough. So what I did is put a card jack on this end, another card jack at that end, just enough to get the cherry picker to slide under. And hook my strap up. We're getting there. That's what. It's pretty balanced right now, so I still got each jack holding the majority of the weight, so should be able to undo these bolts and then they're not going to sling off like pew. You can see it's perfectly balanced right now. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're getting the cables ran on the four post lift. Calls for a one inch of thread for adjustment to go up and down. You got to do that on all four posts. We got two done so far. Sweet. All right, I forgot to film as I'm raising it up. I'm trying to get all the air out of the system now. I'm gonna raise it all the way up to the top. I'm 
Looking good so far. I think that's all the way. Looks like it. All right, now we get to try our pull our safety latch down to see if it'll. Uh, Better drop down. I did watch another guy. He did a review on these. He switched his handle. The handle was this way. He switched it the other way. I like that idea, so stole his idea. All right, so we should be pulling this. And we'll push this in. I'm going to push it in with my arm. See if it goes down. Down she goes. It'd go down a lot faster with a car on it. Right now, we all we have is the weight of the lift. We should be pushing all the air out of the cylinder too. Uh, looks like I got I gotta go back and tighten everything up. But I guess when I got my handles right. Alright, I can't do this one handed. So looking good so far. Alright, we're up in the air all the way maxed out to the top. Pretty easy system. No problem so far. Uh, we got an air jack to put in now. Well, that'd be sweet. So we'll get that installed now. Wildfire. All right, I'm going to put my casters on and get this spun around. I didn't think about the handle being in the way driving up, so we're going to have to put the uh, motor and pump on this side. This would go a lot easier if the concrete didn't have the lips. This concrete's pretty rough. Like I said, this would be a lot easier to turn around if the concrete was in good shape. This is not in the best shape. But I got her spin around, or spun around. So now I can just plug it right into here. And that way my handle, see I put the ramp on and the handle's right in the way. So now the pump and everything will be here, which 
probably the way it's supposed to be. Um, I'm thinking probably keep it about like this. That way if I got to bring the front end and let it overhang, I still have room on the workbench to work. But like I said, you got caster so you can move it any, any place you want. This doesn't have to be anchored. It's a floating uh, car lift, four post car lift. Freaking awesome. I think that's gonna work about right there. That way my ramps will be on right there. I can still shut the door, all that goody. So, all right, I gotta do some more clean. I think I'm gonna clean all this crap up and then we'll get the uh, air lift, air jack lift put on here. Turned out pretty good. So one person can do all this by themselves. I pretty much did it by myself, except for this morning I had Sawyer help me uh, do the heavy stuff. He helped me lift all this stuff and all the four post lift. Uh, he helped me get the ramps on. And then we adjusted the cables up there. Got them all done. And then the rest of it was just fine tuning it and making sure everything's tight. So far, it's working great. Wildfire. Little bit of destruction. I figured it'd be easier to lift up the jack in the box, slide the dolly underneath it, and break the edges off. Slid it underneath the uh, lift, lowered the lift down. So now I can rotate this thing. I need it and then try to shimmy that thing off in here sorry I can't do it one-handed but you can kind of see what I'm doing just slid it sideways and just kind of slowly let it roll off got one track in other tracks in now we should be able to just yank this out of here Ow. nope can't do it one-handed and her staples. All right, she's on there. How cool is that? I'm about to change my air fitting. That's a different fitting. We're about ready to get a vehicle on here and uh, test her out. Easy peasy so far. Wildfire. Here's the air jack. It's a air over hydraulic. Pretty sweet. This slides in and out. And of course you can take that out. Put one of these in there. In case you got a big old lifted truck. Pretty neat.
solid. All right, so this is about as high as I can go on the old mini band. Check it out. I can almost stand up up here. Like right here, I can stand all the way. But I'm never going to have to be going that high. Well, I may, but look how easy it's going to be to do oil changes. How sweet is that? You can go through here and be able to inspect everything a lot better. Look, somebody's changed the transmission mount. Pretty clean underneath here. Kind of see how this all works. It all works on one cylinder, and then it's all cable. How cool is that? So now we'll we'll lower it down. I'm probably gonna make a latch or something. So whenever I go to release this. It uh basically latch on, and it'd be just so whenever I'm dropping it. That way I don't have to sit here and hold the handle. Air jack's gonna be nice. Okay, you can just slide it right underneath there. Lift that dude up. Be easy to do front end work or brake jobs. Need a little handle. This is freaking cool. All right, let's lower it down. So if you notice, it comes down a lot faster when you got some weight on it. Heck, yeah. I'm happy with it. Stay together, guys. Wildfire. Loving it so far.